Hey everybody, Ryan back. I'm going to continue on with the Shelly character. And I went ahead and ripped out some sprites and cut them. Uh, these effects here are from RPG Maker VX Ace and uh, regular VX. And they work really well in Mugen if used correctly. Um, I've decided to give her the elemental bullet system. And so far I've only done two of the fire and ice. Now in this video I'm going to re review how I coded them and give you little tips about it. If you want to learn how to rip sprites, check part 1 and part 2 of this video to learn how. Um, if you want to learn how to align sprites, because aligning effects like this can be pretty difficult at times, especially if you don't know what you're really doing, especially for explosions like this, it could be a pain in the ass. Um, so that's also part 2 and a little bit of part 3 for alignment. And um, to build the uh, animation file, which is right here in the air file, um, you can view part uh, 2 and 3 for that as well. Yeah. And little fancy little tricks like fading in and out, which are done here. I think I explained that in the video as well. But um, since all that's ripped and taken care of, and the moves are already coded, I'm just going to revise um, how I coded them and um, more or less um, just, you know, review. So. For the elemental bullet system, she will have her elemental uh, bullet charge stance, is what I'm going to call it. And the actual game is called like bullet or something, but the I have the bullet pose, animation 900, group 700, index 0, and 1. So it's like her hair just flows. See it? That's all it is. And this will last indefinitely, because that's how it is. It's going to last for, I think, 100 ticks I set it for. And then this is magic 1 with her arm extending, like she's going to shoot something out of her hand. And then Magic 2, which is like a uh, burst of energy, I, I assume. I can't really tell what that is. I usually use this type of pose for healing or water effects. Then, of course, the magic attacks, as you've seen before. And I see the way the magic attacks are worked, uh, especially with RPG Maker VX effects, um, you have the, uh, the um, like an x plot effect right here with this, and then the actual attack itself, which is what's going to hurt the opponent. So this is the attack, and then this is the effect, like, poof. Now, let's go down to the, the actual setup. <clears throat> um, in the command file, don't worry about this, I'll code that later. In the command file, I'm going to add the command for the bullet, which is bullet startup, change state, 900. Trigger one's going to be A, B, or C. Either one of the three cannot be done in the air, and the player has to have control. <clears throat> now... The reason I use the ABC button instead of the XYZ is because XYZ is already occupied with straight attack, diagonal attack, and uh, the ice uh, spike with the Z button. So ABC is blank, so I might as well use them for something. Now, that's all they're going to use for the bullet system, nothing else. So now we go to the setup, state 900, bullet setup. Well, we copied over most of the things from the previous state. It's an attack, player standing and the player um, has stand physics. Uh, juggle points will be 4, power add will be three thirty. I might make this a negative number depending. Uh, velocity player is not moving, player has no control, it's playing animation 900 which is the bullet pose, that. Now what makes this bullet system so um, unique in its way from, what the way, from the way I make it compared to um, I don't think anyone else actually makes characters from this game, at least not like me. Um, once you enter the bullet system, um, everything slows down. Uh, the opponent, they move in slow motion, and that's what this code is here. This is a slow motion code. Basically, every um, two ticks out of... from, from it's, uh, it's hard to explain this exactly, but the way it works is... Uh, you remember I told you time works like 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Time runs more or less through each one of these like super fast. And time mod 2 basically means that it'll take this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. That's how time mod 2 will work. Now if you were to use like say, I copy and paste this. It, it will be effective only for here. A crap there. Here, 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 and here, and here. Now, if you use time mod, say, uh, 3, it's going to be effective. Well, it will be effective here, yeah. No, no, no. 
No. No. Numbers. Yeah, it's going to be effective here, here, and 10 here. So that's the difference. Time mod no, 2, 3, etc. Any number you put after time mod will only be effective um, every interval of that time. So there's 1. Well, actually, you know, there's 0, actually. I didn't count zero, but zero is a value, and all this would be like two. So think of this as intervals of two, intervals of three. So three, five, seven, ten, uh, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, twenty. This will be zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, et cetera, et cetera. So every two ticks, the game's gonna pause for two seconds and have two second move time. Let me see how this works. This is just testing it to see if it makes it smoother. A long time ago, there was this slow motion code that I used to use that worked like really well. Yeah, you see, look how he moves. See, so every time I push the bull button, he enters the slow motion phase. Let's see if I can. Yeah, see. See, I slowed down his fast kung fu palm. And I guess this actually works better than the other one. Um, okay, we don't need a power add because apparently entering bullet state ad adds power, so we'll just get rid of that altogether so she gets no power from it. Now, what makes this unique is once you enter the bullet, st um, bullet state, you can either press up, down, left, or right. So far, I've done uh, forward and down. Hold forward is already in the command file as here is one of the whole directions which are required this is automatically in every command file so you can use these it's basically saying um, when you push the button and release it and this dollar sign means like forward up forward down this means uh, back up back down this means uh, like diagonal uh, back up and diagonal forward this means diagonal down back down and down forward so this more or less covers like all directions but these are what you really need to work, um, think about. Hold forward, back, up, and down. That's what I'm using because it's already there. So when you press uh, hold forward, it's going to go to state 910. Um, 910 is the bullet fire, which is the fire element bullet, which is explode, explode, explode. Three sets of explodes in one, two, and three sets of ex uh, projectiles. Now, they're all the same projectile. The only difference I have in all of them is the offset. Offset is 100. Offset is 50. And offset 150. This is offset is mainly positioning. Nothing else about that. Um, the X plot is to make it come down from the sky, and that's to uh, make actually hit the opponents. Now, when it comes down, it's not going to hit them. It's just for cosmetic looks. Now, these are um, yeah. This is a okay. Yeah, I forgot how I did this just now. I had memory memory lapse. Okay, so the player enters this state, and depending on what direction you press, she will enter that state. And in that state, it has the new animation, a power add, and everything else. With the explode and the attacks, then she changes back to her normal state. In bullet ice, however, I have it a bit differently. But first, I'll show you both of them. Actually, I'll just show you the bullet fire. Yeah. So, slow motion. Now, slow motion, press forward. And she shoots fire from down the sky, and it hits the ground. These are explodes right here coming down. And these things down here, these are the actual projectiles. So boom, 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 boom. Put the collision boxes on and... Oops. See? Nothing but boom. Then the hit spot, hit boxes. So it looks like a powerful magic spell. It's really not. I gotta edit the damage and stuff later. But see, all of this is an x -plot, And then... With timing, keep trying different times, and um, it'll hit properly. Next is uh, the ice bullet. The ice bullet is going to be do, 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 do. hold down, which means you press down, she'll enter her ice bullet state. The ice bullet state is kind of tricky, but it's kind of cool all at the same time. She's, she's going to reuse her animation from 210. 210 is the um, ground Z attack, where she shoots the ground with the bow. Except, I have an idea for the attack. It's kind of crazy, but it works so well. So, this is just an X plot to show the arrow in her hand before she fires it. This is nothing. This is also the same thing you've seen in um, 
x3 and x4 and y3 and y4 and I've also added to on z because I forgot to put it there before but um okay so that's this is just for looks now the helper summoning code will be the ice arrow the ice arrow will be created and this is the ice arrow state I use a different one because it's a, this is a, something totally different from what that is obviously if I use that state it would not be what I want it to be but so it's, I summoned the ice arrow helper the ice arrow helper goes down by 14 um, tick I'm not sure what the hell, 14 vels and this is pretty fast uh, it cannot be hit by anything and it's strictly there for cosmetic looks but it goes down it hits the ground at negative 15 because of the way I position the arrows if you recall I have my arrows aligned to the center so if I put if I had set this to um, zero then it would work right here but I needed a 15 so it was like somewhere in the middle I guess or 23 huh whatever and okay so it goes it shoots down it can't be hit by anything and once it hits the ground it changes to this bullet ice helper stuck in ground so now the arrow is like lodged into the ground and it you ha need to have a vel set zero and a pause set zero to keep the helper on the ground so it doesn't like slide off the ground or fall into the ground or anything like that and then not hit by because you know you don't want your helper to fall out of its helper um properties and, and to, to and turn into a clone of the character so you turn that into a not hit by so it doesn't get hit by anything so this is what it looks like now so the arrow's in the ground just chilling out there it has no hitboxes because there's no need for any hitbox and then, and it dies after 200 ticks I believe as you can see okay they don't really show it too well die arrow die die okay so yeah, this ticks aren't gonna tell the exact time of that, but I, I believe it's at the 200, no, 400, yeah. <clears throat> so, that's the setup of the attack to make it not hit by anything and stuck in the ground position and everything. Next, I'll using an explod and a projectile for the actual attack and it destroys itself to destroy the helper. Now, the triggers are what the most important thing is here. The triggers I have are... P2 body distance, which means player 2's body distance according to the helper's body distance. Um, X is for the X value, and less than 25. So, <clears throat> once the... I think if I could draw this. Let's see. I like drawing things. Works best. Um, I'll use a brush. Ground. Okay, so. That's the ground. That's a nice arrow. This is player two. It's player one. Now, if the opponent goes anywhere within, say, 25 pixels of this projectile, I think it's a bit higher than that. Yeah, if they go anywhere within this radius, eh, 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 it's going to activate it and make it uh, show the explode and show the projectile and destroy the helper otherwise the helper destroys itself at time equals 400 um, using trigger 1 and trigger 2 this works the same way as using the or symbol but I, this way it works better sometimes than uh, the or symbol the or symbol can crap out and just cause errors for unknown reasons and um, more or less I'm using so I use P2 body distance X meaning left and right less than 25 now, 25 works in both ways. If player 2 is um, 25 pixels to the front or to the back of it, it's going to activate and, you know, it'll, it'll um, show the, show the explode and the uh, projectile. And I use the ampersand code, and and, for P2 body distance greater than negative 25. Negative 25 is up. Um, the way that the number line works in Mugen is kind of funky, I think. Yeah, 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 it's kind of funky. Because, um... Your uh, negative values are on top, your positive values are at the bottom, and then for the x values is correct. So, if you want to have the player, like, say, in a above ground level, say this is it like that, you're going to need to put, like, a negative number. So I think I chose, yeah, and it chose negative 25, and 25, and 25. The player is never going to be here. It's like, this is never going to happen. So... If the player enters the arrow right here at any one of these ranges, which is all really close to the arrow, it's going to explode and create a projectile and kill itself. 
This way the helper gets rid of itself and it makes the attack at the same time. So now I'm going to show it to you really quickly. So, arrow on the ground, Kung Fu Man walks and boom, gets hit by the ice. I see the arrow has no blue hitboxes or anything, so I'll walk close. I guess this is 25 compared to where the arrow was. And it more or less appears and hits him. Knocks him back. Look at that nice arrow effect. I mean, not arrow, ice effect. Now let's try it with jumping. So see? See how close he is to that? And then he gets a little bit lower and boom! Hits by the ice. That looks like it hurts, Kung Fu Man. So, that's all I have for her bullet system so far. When I come up with the other two attacks, I will definitely uh, do a little tutorial on how to code them and all that. But otherwise, if you need to revise anything, please look at the other videos. I have showed projectiles and helpers and custom states in the previous um, two videos. And if you need help coding the air CNS file or making the SFF file, um, there's also part you know one, two, and three, and four. And, you know, for ripping of sprites and uh, alignment, just check parts 1 and 2. And, uh, yeah. I, I think uh, RPG Maker VX effects are some of the best ones to use. Mainly because they're so, like, well done. But they're so, you know, they're so, like, it's strange. They're good, but they're also bad in the same way. I mean, look at these effects. These are really, really good effects. And, um, mind you, this is um, an export from the engine that I use myself. If I have requests to upload it, I will upload it. But I think I uploaded it somewhere on Mugen Guild a long time ago. But yeah, I mean, this is what I'm working with. I have to look for what works best for the type of attacks I want to do. And that's mainly it. So, you just witnessed the beginning of her elemental bullet system and a little revision on how to code them and everything. So, thanks for watching. Enjoy, stay tuned, when I come up with the next two, I will post it. Toodaloo!